Hello everyone. It's been a while since I've done some Copic videos, but thought I would try and get some done today. Um, I had a lot of questions about a card that I had made um, a few weeks ago and using this tilde and uh, I had colored her all basically in red. So, and I always tell when I teach my classes that um, the two hardest colors to learn to color with, I think, and really get to blend well are reds and blacks. And I just think because they're such a strong tonal color. Um, so today I'm just going to show you how I colored her red. Um, for this project I'm using R29, R27, R24, R22, and R20. Um, and those are kind of my favorite reds that I like to use. And again, I always start with my darkest color. In this case, is R29. And I'm going to have my light source coming in from the left side. Everything's kind of leaning that way, so that's the natural um, way that I think the light would come through. And I'm just going to go in those places that I think would be the darkest. And if you haven't watched my videos, I always say your darkest color will be the least amount of coloring that you do because you don't want a lot of it. It's not the true color that you really want. It's more of a shadow. So when you're coloring, remember that. So again, as I was saying, the darkest color that you use will actually be the least amount of color that you end up using. And I'm just going to go in here. I want, I want this side to be a lot darker, much more shaded. And of course, under here. Remember, you can always go back and add more dark if you find that you've done it too light. This is R27, and there's not a huge difference between R29 and R27, um, but enough that I like to use it in between um, my R24 and the R29. And R24 will be the main color that I color most of this. is R24. And again, I'm just going in circles. I'm not really blending too much. Um, I'm not really worried about the blending yet. I'm just kind of working my color in where I want it. And then R22 would be the next color. And I'm going to leave some space here because I really want um, the R20 to have some space for contrast. And the R20 I'm going to go in and color with. And then I'm going to work backwards and blend. So I want to get rid of all these lines. And again, red is the hardest color to blend. You really have to work at it, um, which is why I tend to use so many colors when I do use my reds. Um, and they are close together, so you don't get as harsh of lines, making it easier to blend. And again, this is my favorite red combo. I think of most of the reds, it seems to be the truest. so it doesn't look unfinished here for you. And take R22 because I want a little bit of... And I'm taking my R22 again and I'm working back over those darker colors. And then I'm going to take R20 and blend again. And one thing with the reds, this is a lot of blending, so keep that in mind that you will be laying down a lot of color. If you don't have R20, R21 is very close, so 
you can use one or the other. And again, just really work it into your paper. For those that haven't seen my videos, um, I do use Memento Black ink to stamp with. And you've been introduced to my dogs, who again, want to bark. I also use Gina Kay's Luxury Cardstock, um, the 120 pound weight. I love it. I rec totally recommend it. Um, it really makes your Copic shine and a lot easier to blend. And then I'm just going to go over and do her little pocket here. That's our 20. And then I'm going to take our 22 and just darken it just a little bit. I want this corners to be a little bit darker here. And like I said, you will find that you have to go in and blend, 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 but that would be how I'd do her jacket. And, you know, if I was continuing up to do her umbrella, um, this part would be the lightest. And then again, starting with my dark, most of the under part of the umbrella would be dark. And of course, this area here. And I would just repeat working from R29 to R27, going back over what I've done. And again, having a lot of the area as R24. I'm going to take an R22. And I'm going to work back over. And then R20. So that there would definitely be a fade from dark to light. And that's, that's how I colored her all in red. And I did the same thing with her boots um, and, of course, the under part of the umbrella. But again, remember reds. Um, you know, Try to use quite a few colors that are close together so you don't get um, harsh lines, making it easier to blend. And uh, you can actually see this finished card up on my blog um, from a few weeks ago. So I hope that was helpful um, in trying to get your your reds to come out true and getting them to blend well. Okay, thanks for stopping by.